All right, guys, so I want to do a quick review on these Barina lights I have. On the left, I've got an eight footer. On the right, I've got a four footer. Uh, they're super bright. The color temperature is 65K, so for like a shop or some a big open area like that. I have them up in my garage right now. I also use them at the barn. They do a great job of lighting up an area. Uh, the four footers, you can get um, 12 of them for about $90. And the eight footers, you can get 10 of them for about $150. But let me go ahead and show you what comes in the package. So regardless if you get a four foot or an eight foot, you'll get the same thing in the box. It might look just a little bit different, but you'll get one of these. Well, you get, you'll get several, multiple of each ones. We can wire the lights directly into a circuit and have a light switch um, control them. And all these do, this is the end and they just plug in right here on the side. All of them do the same thing. Maybe. Just like that. Uh, there's another one where you can just plug it straight into an outlet. I've got with the switch. This is what I'm using in the garage right now. And you have like an extension or spacer so you can space the lights apart. I think they're, I think that's about three feet or so. Now you'll get a little package. You'll get several of these little packages and what comes in the package are these, I guess, cup links. So you can butt up two um, lights together. This one already has one in, so you just stick one here and then put the other light up against it and just become one long continuous row. You'll get a cap for the end if you choose to use it. I can't pick it up, but it just covers the end of the light so it's not exposed. And then you'll get a bunch of these clips for hanging the lights. You'll get a screw as well. Now these are pretty easy. These are actually really easy to hang and take down while they're hanging. All this does is snap on with the screw obviously and then you can just snap the light off. So they come, they go up and down pretty easy. We need to replace them or you want to move them or something. I will say these will not stay in drywall. You need to screw these directly into a like a support beam or something or a piece of wood going across your ceiling. I ended up buying longer screws because there's drywall on the roof of my garage. So whenever I screwed them in, it went all the way through the drywall into the actual beam above, which is keeping them up. And now let me show you what it looks like before and after in my garage. All right, guys, this is what it looked like in my garage without the lights before I put them in. It's a little, um, little dim and dark. It's kind of hard to see stuff when you're working on without having a flashlight or something, especially if you have a vehicle in, the roof of the Jeep or car would block the light from the ceiling so you can see around the side very well. And what I ended up doing is I put an eight footer to a four footer. I used the three foot, I guess space or whatever, and just kind of tied it up so it wasn't hanging down. Back to an eight foot, this is on one. One switch, I've got the switches hanging down right here. I'm gonna put these up at a later time. And on the other one, I did the same kind of thing. I did a eight foot to four foot and then to two more four feet because a grudge door support won't let me run an eight foot. So this is what it looks like after I turn them on. And yeah, you can see everything in here. I definitely like these lights. I would definitely recommend them if you're looking to light up like your garage or a workspace so you can see better. But this is my review of these lights. Thanks for watching. I will see you later.